is one of the best features of Quicken. It can help prevent you from forgetting to pay bills and even pay your bills for you. You can set up all of your transactions in advance even if you don't know the exact amounts. By setting up your transactions in advance, you will have a better idea of your present and future cash position. You can then edit transactions as necessary. You can enable reminders based on how often you use Quicken. If you use Quicken every Saturday, set your reminder for nine or so days in advance. When scheduling payments, it's easiest to integrate the payments with the check printing or online payments so Quicken can pay the bills for you too. Lastly, if you are scheduling transactions, don't forget to record them in Quicken. Using the Paycheck Setup feature of Quicken to track your gross pay and deductions will help you to both plan on how much cash inflow you will have as well as use Quicken's tax planning and reporting features. Although there are many ways of scheduling transactions, there are two main ways to do so. We covered the Quicken Guided Setup in a previous chapter. Here, we will discuss how to create scheduled transactions with the Scheduled Transaction List. Create New Then select the Scheduled Transaction menu item. The Add Scheduled Transaction dialog opens. Select the payee for the transaction. Select a category for the transaction. If there is a repeating online payment, meaning the payment will be made for the same amount on the same schedule for either a specific or ongoing length of time, you can set up the first payment and your financial institution will continue making the payment until you cancel or until the specific number of payments has been made. This is a great tool for automating payments and not having to worry about them again. Select the account and method of payment. When it comes to the payment, you have a few different options. You can fill in the specific amount of the payment or have quick and estimate the amount based on the last few payments made. The default is the last three payments, but this can be changed. Lastly, if this is a payment for a credit card, you can select to have Quicken use the full credit card balance as the payment amount. Insert the start date for the payments, a reminder date, and how often the payment should be repeated. This area will specify which date the payment will be made on in the future. In this area of the form, you can specify an end date for the scheduled transaction. Select 3 in the text box. There are a few options for scheduling transactions. Click the Options box to view these options. Select your options and select OK when finished. If you want to make a deposit or other type of transaction, the process is the same. Click OK to create the new transaction. To enter a scheduled transaction, simply click the Enter button. Click Edit to edit the scheduled transaction or skip to skip the scheduled payment. The monthly bills and deposits window will show you all of the activity for the month selected. Click the monthly bills and deposits tab. Here you can see all of the activity for the month and the status of all transactions. Selecting or deselecting the graph or calendar options will show or hide the respective options at the bottom of the window. We can also schedule transactions from their specific account. Click the Minimize button. Select the account.
At the bottom of the window, you will see items Quicken suggests should be scheduled. You can choose to schedule these items or not. Selecting Yes will bring you to the Schedule Transaction window. Click OK to schedule the transaction. Clicking Show Full List will bring you to the Bills and Deposits list. Click the Close button.